Welcome back guys. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about how to completely reset your Tyrannus just in case you accidentally screw something up so bad that it's just not working anymore. Now I've been to that point before. I've been to where it it won't show anything and it just constantly vibrates and makes uh, make noises. I tried my best to completely screw this up as much as I could, but I can't get to that point again. I, honestly, I don't remember what I did to make it do that. Um, but regardless, this sh should work for everybody. So if I turn mine on, it's going to look pretty normal. Let me go ahead and set it to where you guys can see. Yeah, it's looking pretty normal right now, but... Uh, I will actually show you where I completely deleted everything on the SD card and everything else. So uh, anyway, first thing we want to do is connect it to a computer. So once again, just like in the other videos, if you haven't seen those videos, I highly recommend um, you watch the Tyrannus playlist because I will be referring to other videos instead of showing you everything all over again. Uh, but we will hold these two buttons in, power it on. Now I'll flip it around and connect the USB cable. Now if we uh, look on the computer and try to find everything, here we have the Tyrannus itself. I will even delete the EEPROM and firmware. And then everything on the SD card I have deleted. There's absolutely nothing on this. So like I said, I have tried my best to completely screw this up. That way we are all on the same page. Now, even though I deleted the EEPROM and firmware files, if you turn it off and power it back on, you'll notice I'm not getting any sounds because I deleted all the sounds from the SD card, but uh, it's turning back on again. So let's reconnect this USB cable. And we will see here that the EEPROM and firmware is back. That's because no matter what, you can't screw that up. It's going to come back every time. Now, your version of firmware might degrade some, um, but we'll talk about that in just a second. So first up, if I disconnect the cable and turn it back on, go to the menu, and we'll see the version of firmware on it now is 2.0.2. I'm going to reconnect this cable. What I'm trying to make is the first thing you want to do is go ahead and upgrade the uh, your firmware. I have a video showing you how to do that, so I'm not going to cover that now. I'll just leave a link for you in the top right of your screen. Okay, so now my firmware should be upgraded. Let's check it. And there we go, version 2.1.9, which is the newest version of firmware at the time of me recording this. But we notice that I still don't have sounds. And if I go to my models, let's check the model images. Yep, there's no images. Everything on the SD card is still gone, completely deleted. So let's fix that. To do that, we will go to FR Sky, I think it's frsky.com. Guess we'll find out, huh? Yeah, that's not it. Let's just do a Google search for FR Sky. Okay, frsky rc.com. Now we will go to download, find the Tyrannus Plus. Now that's the firmware for the Tyrannus Plus. We don't need that because I actually used opentx.org for that. What we are looking for is the uh, SD card contents. Here we go, right here. So I will click that, download it. I have my Tyrannus folder already made, which I, which is where I keep all my Tyrannus stuff. Um, and then I are already made a folder for factory SD card. 
So save that. Okay, now it's done downloading. So I'll just go back to my RC folder under Tyrannus, under the factory SD card folder that I made. Take this. Now you cannot extract all because the file size is too big. You're going to need another program for that. Uh, what I use is 9-zip. You can just go to your, uh, let's see, let's go to the store and look for 9-zip. And there it is right there. Uh, there's plenty of different apps that you can use. That's just the one that I've been using. It works pretty well, and I, I do recommend it. So uh, I'm going to open it with 9-zip the app instead of extracting all because like I said extracting all is not going to work now I will just click extract all I want to put it in that same folder that I named factory SD card and there we go okay it's done so I'm just going to close all this out now this download that we uh, downloaded, you can go ahead and delete that. That's just going to take up more space on your memory on the computer. So we will click on this, click on it again, and that's going to give you this. Uh, resources for the user, we don't need. We can delete that. And that's going to leave us with this. Now if we find the memory card on the trans itself, so here we see under the uh, directory G, that's the trans itself, but we don't want that. We want the memory card. Now, if we look on the memory card itself, we see a file for BMP, which we uh, have another new one that we just downloaded. Uh, EPROMs we don't have, so that's fine. We can leave that. Uh, really, there's there was nothing in it to begin with, unless you put something in it. Uh, same thing for firmwares. We have another new file for firmwares, logs, models. Uh, don't have scripts, but once again, there's really nothing in it, uh, nothing of use. So what we're going to do is take this and copy it. Then click on the uh, drive for the memory card. And we will just paste it and wait. If you ever get a message like this, replace the file in the destination. Okay, now let's take a look, see what's in BMP. Oh, now I have all my pictures again. Like I said, there was nothing in EPROMs to begin with. There was nothing in firmwares. Uh, there should be sounds now. Yep, we've got all of our sounds. So there we go. That's a great way. In case you ever mess anything up in any of these folders, you can just replace them all with that download. Uh, that was the point I'm trying to make. So now if I disconnect my USB cable, turn it off, turn it back on. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Now I have sounds again. If we go to our model and check the model image, we have our images again. So that's two ways of knowing that I know everything is back and working again. Uh, everything else obviously is up and running too. If I go back and check my uh, firmware version again, it's still there, 2.1.9. So we are good to go. We now have a brand new Tyrannus. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, I just wanted to make this video just in case in the uh, following videos you accidentally mess something up. This is how you know uh, how to go back and uh, retry it again. So uh, if you haven't been following the Tyrannus series playlist, I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Uh, check that out, and I will see you guys again soon.